Hi, I'm Janine from Props by Posies, and my daughter Jessica and I own Poppies and Posies Photography, which specializes in newborn and children, and um, we also own an Etsy shop called Props by Posies, where we sell prop patterns and um, for sitters and newborns. Um, this is a free video, however, and so we will um, be making a Lucy romper today, but um, be sure to check our um, Etsy shop for the patterns that are available for purchase, and also um, they should be available also on the propsbyposies.com where you download the free pattern, just click on the shop menu and that will take you um, to those patterns that are um, for sale there. Um, once you do purchase a pattern, um, we have a uh, VIP Facebook support group that where we, just and I, answer questions and we um, give support anytime there's questions um, and then all of the, the people in there also give support. Take they. There's tons of pictures of things that they've created that will inspire you to create your own. It's the best group ever. So you'll want to be a part of that. If you do purchase a pattern, make sure you check that out. Um, if you do um, purchase a pattern, make sure that um, if it, you have a different Facebook name than the name that you purchased the pattern under, make sure that you let us know that so that we can accept you into the group. We always verify and make sure you've purchased a pattern before letting people in the group. So make sure you let us know if there's a name difference there, okay? So um, today we're going to make, it's called the Lucy Romper, is what we've named it. Super easy pattern, quick, fast, and darling. So um, what you're going to need for the Lucy Romper um, today is you'll need some, you'll need a, uh, we, I usually upcycle uh, clothing to make my pattern, so you'll need some fabric or um, an item of clothing that is an open weave so that you can it needs to have holes in it, an open way you can do it with lace, you can do it with a, um, a sweater type fabric, as long as you have holes in there because we are going to thread some ribbon around um, in that fabric. So make sure you have that. Um, you'll need the pattern that's printed out, the free pattern. You'll need some ribbon for the bows on, on top and the, and the uh, ribbon that goes around the whole outfit. Tape to tape the pattern together. You'll need um, needle and thread because we're going to sew on some bows. Um, your thread, um, a threader or a safety pin will do as well if you don't have a threader. I always like the Wonder Tape by Dritz. Um, you don't have to have that, that's not a necessity, but it sure makes your job easier. And um, especially if you're dealing, gonna sew with lace or an open weave, that's really great to have. If you don't have a, a serger, if you have a serger, ignore that because you don't need it. Um, straight pins, scissors, and um, you'll need a, a tape measure to measure out the the pieces here okay so I am going to go ahead and get ready to cut out my pattern and I will be right back and we'll start the tutorial okay this is what the pattern will look like when you print it off it will print off on two pages and what you want to do is just put the, you just want to butt up the edges of the pages just like that you don't want to fold to make this um, the, the solid line connect just go ahead and tape it like that Tape it like that, so you will have a little gap there, about a half inch here on this one. Usually my patterns have about a quarter inch, but on this one it looks like it's a little bit more. That's okay, that's how you want it. So go ahead and tape them together, and then cut it out, and you'll have the pattern. Now, I just wanted to show you on this, um, this is a shirt that I got at um, a thrift store called Desert Industries, and um, because the, it, the pattern calls um, to cut on the fold, um, I don't want to cut on the seam where the fold is, so I'm going to go ahead and take this shirt and I'm going to go like that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and match up the seams, the side seams together. And then we'll have a fold here and a fold here where we can actually cut without a seam. Okay, does that make sense? So then, so I'm going to turn it around because the pattern actually goes wider at the top than it does at the bottom. So, and here's my fold with no, with no seam. I'm going to lay this down right here. Just like this, so this says cut on the fold, so this will be where you wanna cut. And then the rest you just cut out normal. So just don't cut along here, you don't wanna cut that. So when you open it up, it's gonna have a shape of, of like a, a romper, okay? Without arms or anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna cut this one out and put it on this one so I can cut out both at the same time. So I'll be right back and do that. Okay, so here I am. I cut um, two of these. I, I printed it twice and cut two out so I can just cut them out at the same time. 
Um, now the reason they're kind of off a little bit is I just noticed that on this shirt, it has two different, see where it, see where it starts? This pattern is different than this pattern. And I kind of want it to be um, symmetric. I like them to match the best that they can on the sides. It probably won't be exactly, but it will be close. So I just went up to the next pattern, you know, where, so this one has this pattern and so will this one. At the top, it'll have the same pattern. So it's just off a little bit. So that's what I did. Some, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just my preference. And if you don't care, you don't have to be so picky, you know, if you have a pattern like this, a striped pattern. So I'm always, I always try to line up the best that I can on the, um, when I have lines, especially, I try to match them up on the seams the best that I can. So, okay, um, I'm going to cut out. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. I think that's it for now. So I'm going to go ahead and get these both cut out, and then we'll proceed. Okay, so we're back, and I've got these both cut out. Now, if you'll notice, um, see how great I have those lined up perfectly great, like that. But then if you keep going down, the patterns aren't the same. <laughs> so some of them match and some of them don't. No big deal. It's, it's really not a big deal. I'm not going to worry about it. So here we go. Um, what we're going to do first, so if you open it up, it looks like a huge romper. It looks a little on the ridiculous side. But... Um, that's the way we want it to look because then we gather it up and it's really cute. It goes gathered like this and it's so cute. So we want it big like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sew um, the right sides together. Now this fabric has a little bit of a fuzziness to one side, which is the outside, and then it has a very cottony clean on the inside. So I'm going to do the, the um, right sides together and I'm gonna just place them on each other like that. And all we have to do for this pattern, which is fabulous, is we just have to sew up here and around here, and then we're gonna put some um, ribbon in it. So it's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and line it up the best I can. And then I like to use um, Wonder Tape. I don't have a serger, and so I use this. Um, it's, it's Wonder Tape by Dritz. This says quilting on it. It doesn't matter which one you get it and it dissolves when it gets wet, which is awesome. So it's just a double-sided tape. It takes the place of pins. And when you're, um, when you're working with lace and um, fabrics that are uh, open weave like this, it helps um, hold, it gives it something to sew onto, number one, and it helps keep the fabric in place so it doesn't grow or become distorted, which is awesome as well. But this is a, a tape that I've kind of, I just stumbled upon and I have loved it since I started using it. It doesn't gum up your machine. Um, it does put a film on it after you use it for quite a while. It'll put a little film on it, but nothing, it comes off, you know, it just comes off easy with goo gone. It doesn't gunk it up or anything like that. And like I said, with water, it dissolves, so it's not even there. So if you're working with a lace and you can kind of see it through the lace and it bothers you, just get it wet and it goes away. So I took off the top layer of the tape and now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna match up the ends. So I'm gonna start with this end, whoopsie. And then I'm gonna come to the bottom end, match that one up the best that I can. So it's right on. And then I'm gonna kinda just, in, you know, everything in between, just make sure it matches up. And then just press down into place. And then that's not going anywhere, they're taped together. Now, if you wanted to finish the edges, I'm not going to finish it because it's a lace and it just doesn't matter. It's pretty and cute. I will probably clean that up a little bit, but I'm not going to hem the edges. If you want to, um, that would be a good, a good time is after you sew this, then you can open it up and, and put tape along that edge and then just, um, sorry, around the, the backside, and then, you're, and then just fold it up a quarter inch and sew around. I'm not going to do that because this is a lace that doesn't need it and is it really your option whether you like to have a finished leg or not. Usually we do like finished finished um, edges but on this lace one I just think it's cute without it so I'm not going to bother. Okay so there's that and then I will also do that along the crotch as well. I'll do it in three pieces. I'll go here and then I'll do one around here and then one down here. And then we can go back and sew it together and then I'll show you how we finish up the top and we'll just, it's gonna be fast and easy and darling. So we will meet you back at the sewing machine as soon as I get this lined up.
Okay, we're back at the sewing machine here. I'm gonna go ahead and just sew up this side seam. I already did the other side, so to save a little time. So quarter inch, so I just use this uh, edge of my foot as my guide, and I'm zigzagging. I like to zigzag just for fun. It gives it a little bit more stretching ability, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then I wanted to show you um, where, at what point you would, um, at what point you would, sorry, this is not, not lining up very good, um, do the hem. So I'll show that to you as soon as we're done here. Okay, so once you have that done, then you can go ahead and open this up. I already taped the, the crotch shut, but we're going to open it up real quick. Okay, so right here, you would go ahead and put some tape along this edge if you want to hem the pants, and then turn it up and press it into place, and then go ahead and zigzag it. Okay, um, I'm going to pretend that we've done that already because I'm not going to hem mine, but if you wanted to, that's what you would do. And then you come back to the crotch and tape that. I've taped that already all the way around. So I'm just gonna line that back up again and press down. And then I'm gonna sew around the crotch. And then we're done really sewing the body. Go ahead and do the other side if you, I had already done the other side. So sew your other side up and then do the crotch. And then we will do the, we will go ahead and do the um, ribbon after after this, the ribbon that goes around and makes it pucker. So I will sew this up. This is a really quick, fast pattern. There we go. And then I always backstitch at the end, beginning and at the end. So a little backstitch here. Cut the strings. Okay, now if you don't have a threader for ribbon like this, <clears throat> then you'll want to go grab a safety pin, just a, a large safety pin, um, so that we can thread this this through. Okay, so grab that. We'll turn this right side out after I trim the strings there. Okay, so we'll turn it right side out. So you can see what it looks like. So this is what it's supposed to look like at this point. That's very short. Okay, so I'm leaving mine unhemmed because it has a cute little lacy edge. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Now usually on the crotch it can have a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of a pucker. And so sometimes when I'm doing it, I will snip on the inside to, so that it helps that it so it doesn't pucker. Let me show you how I do that. On this one, I'm not going to because of the lace. I, I don't want to trim anymore. But usually you'll do a little. You can do a little snip up at the top, vertical snips, three of them. It'll help it not pucker so much. But where I'm dealing with lace, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that because it'll compromise that seam a little bit. Um. Okay, so here we are. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a little a little gathering right through here. And to do that, we're just going to take the ribbon that you cut. I cut mine about 30 inches, I think it was, 32 inches, something like that. Um, I always like to go a little bit longer than I think is needed so that... I'll make sure that, that we make sure there's enough and then I trim if, as needed. Okay, so I'm going to find the middle. The way I find the middle is just the middle of the crotch. I just kind of follow it up, eyeball it. And I'm going to go just a smidge to the, to the one side. So here's the middle right here. I'm going to go just over just a smidge. And I, use, I like to leave about an inch at the top so that will make a little bit of a ruffle. Okay, I think I might even go a little bit down farther. So I'm going to go right here. And then what you're going to do, and if this doesn't really matter how how much you, you know, how in between you go, but I'm just going to, about that, about an inch, inch, a little more than an inch, and pull it through. And if you're working with delicate stuff, just be careful that you're not, um, that you're not 
pulling it and making the holes making holes bigger okay and then you're going to continue to go continue to go around just like this and you can see how the threader makes it so easy now just make sure you don't pull it all the way because this is going to be your tie right there in the middle okay there's the seam i just go would go right over the seam just like that doesn't really matter this is not rocket science so you just keep doing this all the way around and then once i get all the way around i will come back and show you um how it looks so just continue to continue to do that all the way around till you get to the end of the outfit okay okay i am just ending this went all the way around it i'm going to pull this through all the way okay and pull it through and kind of match up those edges those ends now if you want to you could end it right here and this ribbon has a lot of strings sorry about that okay so you can end it right here if you want to and just do a tie and then this can be either the front of the romper or the back of the romper whichever you prefer it doesn't matter because it's they're all the same there's your bow so let's get it to work okay there we go so there's your bow that looks really bad so let's try that again <laughs> there we go okay so there's your bow so that could be the the you can be done right there if you want to now what i prefer to do is turn it around and then once again find the middle Luckily, this is just right in the middle there. I might want to plan a little better next time in case. But then I'm just going to sew these three little... I'm going to sew these three little bows on with um, with a needle and thread just by hand. And I'm just going to sew them on like that. And that will be the front for me. And then the other side will be the back. So, um, and then that kind of helps this stay uh, gathered as well. It kind of, you know keeps it in place because this so this can't slide this won't slide through the hole so it'll kind of keep it where it's at so you I'll sew those on by hand and then we're done um, that's totally an option you know you don't have to do that but if you want to do that and then I will come back and show you the finished product okay so here is the final Lucy romper and it is adorable I love this um, lace I think it turned out super great so okay so be sure if you do um if you love this pattern all our patterns are very similar to that they're easy great instructions uh, tutorials so be sure to um go to our etsy shop props by posies or our props by posies.com and and purchase the patterns that you like and remember if you do purchase to join our facebook group called props by posies pattern vip group and make sure you join us for the fun and the support. It's awesome. And we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.